I make these beautiful cookies every Christmas. They have a lot of different names, uh, pecan balls, snowballs, Mexican wedding cookies. Everybody loves them. They melt in your mouth. And right now you're probably saying, well, I could never make anything this fancy. Really? Really? Can you dump stuff into a bowl? Because that's all it takes. Let me show you. Okay, first, get a bowl. Now we're going to dump in one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of finely diced pecans, preferably toasted for better flavor, three tablespoons of sugar, one stick of room temperature butter, dump it in, and one teaspoon of vanilla. That's it. That's everything that goes into the recipe. Now we're going to mix it up by hand. And you know when there's a messy job, I like to use my latex glove. So you just mix it up by hand. It is messy, and it doesn't take too long. You just kind of smush it and smush it. And after uh, a very short time, it starts to kind of hold together. And really, I said about toasting the pecans, it's really easy to do it. You can toast them days, weeks ahead, and just keep them in the fridge. 350 oven, ungreased baking sheet for uh, 8 to 10 minutes. And it makes a world of difference with the, how these taste because that's where the flavor all comes from. And it, they just have this great fragrant smell. So you just keep turning and turning. You can see it's starting to form into a dough. Almost there. Okay. And we're going to refrigerate this for 30 minutes because it's much easier to roll after it's been in the fridge. So that's it right there. That's how long it takes. And you can see it's kind of one big mass right now. And you wrap it up in plastic. And I do it this way. I just take the sheet of plastic and I kind of put it on top of the, of the dough and sort of pick it up like that. Okay, you just pick it up like that. Wrap it all up in the plastic. You refrigerate this for 30 minutes, and I'll see you in 30 minutes. Okay, while the dough is chilling in the fridge, you preheat your oven to 350, which I've done. It's been 30 minutes. Now you open up the dough, and you shape it into the uh, cookies. And again, it's a little bit messy, so I like to use my gloves. But uh, And I have a baking sheet right here, as you can see. Now you can put this on either an ungreased baking sheet or a, p a parchment paper lined sheet. The parchment paper really makes them come off the sheet a lot easier and there's less cleanup, so that's the way I make them. So you basically just break off small amounts like this and you roll them, very, it's very simple, look at this, into little one inch balls like that and put them on the sheet. I mean, when I said this was easy, I wasn't kidding, look at this. Just about one inch, you can use a ruler if you want. And you just put them an inch or so apart they're, they're not going to spread. It's not like chocolate chip cookies that spread. Um, so you can put them fairly close together. And this will make about two dozen. So I'll just keep going. And um, I'll see you when I've rolled up the last one. And it'll be ready to go in the oven. Okay. Here's the last one. And it usually makes two dozen. This time I'm making, I think, uh, 23. But anyway, they're all set to go. And now they go into your preheated oven at 350 for 15 minutes. And then we put on the powdered sugar. So in they go. And I'll be back in 15. OK, it's been 15 minutes. Time to come out of the oven. See how they look. Oh, perfect. Perfect. OK, see this? This is how they should look, set but not browned. And you let them sit on the sheet for about a minute or so. I think they're still cooking. Can you hear? They're still kind of sizzling. So um, at this point, they're pretty fragile. So let them cool for a minute or two. Then we're going to start to roll them in powdered sugar. And you just take any kind of a bowl. I have about a cup or so of powdered sugar in here. And uh, it's kind of a messy job, so I do like to use my gloves. And you're going to, they're not going to uh, take as much sugar on the first time. We're going to do this twice. So you roll them once while they're warm and a second time after they've cooled. And they'll take a nice uh, second coating of powdered sugar and then they'll be all done. So let's see if I can handle them yet. And the thing about parchment paper is that they just slide right off and, and uh, there's less chance that you'll break them because they do, they're fragile, as I said. So you just take one at a time 
and you just roll it around in the sugar and it'll be just about like that. It's not a, it's not a bad coating there. See, I don't even need my lifter. I can just pull them right off the parchment. But if you don't have parchment paper, use an ungreased baking sheet. You roll it around in the sugar and that's it. Okay, I'm down to the last two and I wish you could smell, they smell really, really good. Okay, here's the last one right here. You can see there's still lots of powdered sugar left, but we're gonna be using it. So, that's it. Now at this point, you let them cool completely, which takes maybe 20 to 25 minutes. And once they're cool, we're gonna roll them again and they'll be all done. All right, I let them cool down completely and I'm just finishing up the second rolling in the powdered sugar. And you can see that they're, they're holding a lot more sugar this time. They get kind of sticky and somehow they hold a lot more sugar. So anyway, that's it. They're all done and look at that, they're beautiful and easy. Nobody has to know how easy these are to make. Nobody has to know how many you made either. Oh, you want another cookie? Oh, I'm so sorry, they're all gone. There's no more cookies, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't have any more. They're gone. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs>